Hey guys, my name is Astrid and I wanted to discuss with you today an issue I notice specific to Nellie Eiler orchids. Now, it may not be limited to Nellie Eiler orchids, but every single one I've had has had this issue. That issue is what appears to be scale insect actually being edema or blistering. Okay, so what is this? Why is this important? First, let's talk about what is scale insect. Scale insect is a nasty little bug that comes in many shapes and sizes, but when it attacks orchids, it typically looks like little brown or white spots on the leaves. They bite on the leaf, they form a shell over their back that's very hard to remove, and they slow down your plant's growth and development and generally harm your plant. I don't know if they're deadly, but they do decrease your plant's life quality, I would say. What is, um, what is edema or blistering then? Well, edema or blistering also looks like little brown spots on your leaves. It looks remarkably similar to scale. Um, however, it seems to only be a cosmetic issue with the orchid and not do any damage to it at all. Additionally, it's not contagious to other plants like scale insect is. Why does the edema form? Well, it forms when the plants are grown in temperatures that are too cool and receive too much water in these cool temperatures. What happens, apparently, <clears throat> is that the plant's cells will absorb too much water and then they burst and cause these little brown scabs, basically. It's like a little scab on your plant. Now, my idea is that these happen in nurseries and I haven't had any more happen in my home setting because nurseries have like really regular watering, really systematic watering in a different watering system than you would have in your home. And Nellie Eiler orchids bloom in a redder color in cooler temperatures. So I imagine they are kept in cooler temperatures and watered quite often as most nursery plants are. And that's what causes this issue specifically for Nellie Eiler orchids. Now, I've had the water blist the blisters on every single Nellie Eiler I've owned. I've had three from different sellers. And I noticed another girl on Orchid Board posting a topic that says, stubborn scale insect on my Nellie Eiler, what do I do? And I recognized immediately that her plant had the same problem as mine. All right, so because these both look like little brown spots on the leaves, how the heck do we tell the difference? Well, the first thing you should do is if you suspect a plant you've brought home has scale insect, isolate it from your other plants. You don't want to deal with taking care of it on multiple plants. That's no fun. I personally have never had to treat scale, but there are plenty of videos on YouTube showing people um, treating scale insect. Now, let's look at some of the leaves. <clears throat> I'm going to zoom in here. Now, this leaf has these little brown dots, and on the underside, they look like bumps. Ooh, yuck. This looks like scale insect. And if you ask around in forums, most people would tell you it's scale insect because that's the first thing they think of. I think people are more familiar with scale insect on plants than they are with this blistering or edema. So the natural instinct is to try to treat the scale insect because that's what we think it is. And this is where you're gonna be able to differentiate between scale and the blisters. Treating scale is pretty easy to do. You take a cotton swab with rubbing alcohol on it and you rub the leaves. And the scale, in videos I've seen people treating their orchids for scale, scale rubs right off. It comes off immediately. But if you don't have scale, these bumps don't come off the leaves and you wind up rubbing and rubbing your leaf and making it too shiny and unhealthy. And this is compared next to a healthy leaf it has that nice matte finish on the bottom. So you can see that this leaf only has suffered mechanical damage from the rough treatment it received and has had no benefit of removing any insects because there were no insects in the first place. <laughs> so that's the primary difference that you're going to that's the primary way you're going to be able to tell the difference between blisters and scale. The blisters, you will keep rubbing and rubbing and rubbing and rubbing and it just doesn't budge. And then you'll think, I need to bring out the big guns. So you start cutting off part of the leaves like I did to this orchid where it looks the most severe and most difficult to remove. You try to pick it off. 
you damage your leaves, you rub them hard, you make them wimpy. <clears throat> and then you might be tempted to use spray the plant with fungicide, insecticide, all these things, and it still doesn't go away. And then you may be tempted to use a systemic um, insecticide, which can be pretty toxic. And all this stress on the plant and all this risk, possible risk to you, is unnecessary, usually, because scale is pretty easy but tedious to treat. And blisters are just cosmetic and they won't come off anyway. So, does this help you understand the difference between blisters and scale? Thanks to Miss Orchid Girl, aka Danny, for explaining to me about blisters and scale. I'll include the paper she sent me down below, which discusses edema in plants. And um, yeah, before you decide that you're going to go all out and try to get rid of these bugs, think, are these actually bugs or does my plant just have a few little freckles? Alright, thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye!